Hi everyone, welcome to the loft. I'm Hi getting, guys. It's not the no, loft. No, no, we're not in the loft. Thank yeah. God. Uh, no, we're out on the south bank. About half a mile away. Enjoying a beer. Mm. Cheers, lovely to see you. Um, because it's summer. Mm. It's, it's summer, summer, finally. Even though, even though the sky is now cloudy for the first time in a week, um, we thought we'd, uh, a little bit late to the party, we thought we'd do our summer selection. Yeah, just a few little picks. Yeah, so the, we've chosen five fragrances each, um, and these are not not necessarily the, the fragrances we think are the best things in the world, they are fragrances which we enjoy wearing in the summer. So yeah. they're, they're all fragrances which we've got full bottles of. There are a couple of um, decants which I've got which I like uh, to wear in the summer, but I, I, I haven't chosen them, um, partly because I wonder Joe might have chosen them. We have to say, uh, once again, same we, here, yeah. we, we haven't discussed this before, so there is a chance we could have chosen exactly the same five fragrances. Mm. Um, which would be fun. Nice. Anyway, here we go. So five fragrances each that we like to wear so a lot in the summer. what are you going to kick us off with? I'm going to start, um, so if you think hot summer's day, what do you enjoy on a summer's day? A lovely, refreshing orange ice lolly. Oh, yes. And the fragrance which reminds me most of it is Orange Sanguine, or Blood Orange by um, Atelier Cologne. And this is just the most photorealistic orange fragrance. Yeah. It's just absolutely beautiful. And it's, so oh, it reminds I me of... This stuff. It's so heavenly, it reminds me of orange, but it just it particularly reminds me of, of an orange ice lolly. Yeah. You know, yeah. That, so it's just a little bit sweeter, it's almost like it's been exaggerated. Yeah, just an just orange ramp, and then ramp, some. Ramped up a little bit. Let me see if I can have a bit of squirt. It's going to go everywhere because it's a bit windy, but... I mean, that's so, it's so refreshing. It's so... Yeah, it just puts God. a smile on your face immediately. There's also um, a little bit of... Um, there's a little bit of jasmine in the... It's the jasmine that's making, yeah. me, making me happy. Yeah, There's well, a little bit of creaminess. That... Yeah, you said earlier that it almost got fizziness. Yeah. I wonder if it's just that jasmine. It's Could be. A, a little bit of... Oh, every, I mean, on a really, really hot day, this is absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's wonderful. Absolutely stunning. And I think, um, I think the house itself is great, isn't it? Yeah. Wonderful, good, fresh, invigorating takes on cologne. <sighs> but I mean, just it's great quality sort of ingredients. Yeah. That smell like the ingredients. Blended to perfection. Right, what have you got? So, um, we'll start with something which actually has a dual purpose. For me, this is a slightly nostalgic scent. Yeah. Um, because I bought this one in New York when I, when I was out there with my beloved and we got engaged. This wasn't related to the engagement, but it's a cheapie, but from a master. <sighs> the Nautica Voyage. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. This thing, it's not expensive. It's not the best perfume in the world, but it's a clean, it's great. It's a clean, fresh. I mean, how much does it cost? Was it twenty-five quid? Well, this something? cost me seven pounds in <laughs> yeah. TJ Maxx in New York, TJ like nine Maxx, nine right. dollars. Yeah. Now it's about seventeen pounds, fifteen pounds. You get yeah. it. This is my second bottle because my first one was stolen. Um, I think from the loft. In really? fact, it's in the filing cabinet and it's vanished. If you if you're out there, you've done nothing wrong. Just return the fragrance. And, and we won't. We'll around it. Yeah, we'll never know. So this is actually a slightly reformulated version. Come on, let's have a square. But I love it. Stuff. It's you've got crab apple, a bit of oak moss. It's a cheapie, but I love it. It's fresh and clean, and it's, just, it's, it's a dumb reach, it's, as they like quite, to say in the it's states. It's playful, isn't it? It's got that yeah. kind of like uh, '90s aquatic vibe to it. There's a slight, almost like the appleiness gives almost a plasticky quality. Yeah. You know, it's almost There's like something a, wonderfully a synthetic, synthetic kind of like quality to it. And the perfumer, Maurice Roussel, who, yeah. who's done things like New Harlem, yeah. uh, the wonderful Rochas. Yeah. It's just beautiful. I, I, I see what you mean. It's, it's, it's just a really easy, uplifting, yeah. happy making reach. If, if I went to the gym and I wasn't a big fat knacker, <laughs> this would be a great sort of after gym <laughs> scent. Jump out of the shower. Yeah. I love great. it. Simple, clean. Lovely. Unlike me. Right. Um, what should I go for next? Okay. So I've said on, on a hot day, what's better than a, a, the lovely orange ice lolly? Well, what is oh. better is a gin and tonic, a nice well, ice cold uh, gin and tonic. And there are some really good uh, gin and tonic fragrances out there. But I have chosen Limaniste uh, from mm. Frappa. Very beautiful. I mean, not 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 a terribly complex, but off the top you get this uh, you get a lovely lemon and lime, which is almost like opening a can of Seven Up. Just that really I'm refreshing getting some of that, Yeah. But then. As I said, you get gin and tonic, so you get juniper. Um, and juniper can go a bit weird because sometimes you, you also get cayenne oil from juniper. Yeah. So you can get this kind of like bitter quality, whereas you, you don't get this. You get this really herbal, beautiful juniper, which just 
oh, instantly lovely. makes you think of a, a nice fresh gin and tonic. There's also a little bit of cedar and a little bit of wood in it, just to add a bit of complexity. But oh, for me, it's, mm. it's just done so well. I struggle a bit with summer fragrances because I don't oh, really like it's... lemon. I, I just, I particularly don't no, like lemon it when it's done badly. I just think it smells of toilet cleaner. And there is lemon in this, but it's done so well. That's beautifully blended and it's, it's a sort of gin and tonic feel. It's got a bit of effervescence. It's quite smooth and well-rounded. Yeah. But I feel there's a bit of complexity. There's a bit, there is, there's absolutely. a bit of integrity to it as well. I mean, no, not, yeah. not to diss your, your, not to annoy your voice, but this feels like a, a quality fragrance. Oh, it's it? a huge, it's a I mean, huge step a, up in I mean, quality, this is about a hundred pounds. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. It's about a hundred pounds a bottle, but... From Frappin? Yeah, you said from that? Frappin, yeah. Yeah, that's lovely. I'm very, very beautiful. And more than summer. I don't like summer fragrances myself in terms yeah. of just the light citrusy things, but actually... But that's got a bit more to it. It's very nice. Yeah. Right, what have you Good got? Good choice. Um, number two. I think number two, this is an old favourite of mine that Dan might already expect. Lovely choice. Philosikos from Diptyque. This is all about fig. So in here you've got, you've got basically three elements for me, which are the opening sort of bright fig leaves and the green. Oh, there's the bottle. And then it morphs into this wonderful smooth creamy coconut. And then the dry down for me is just is just a little hint of woodiness and the, the coconut sort of final dying embers and the whole thing is wonderfully so, transparent so and it's got there's something there's a dipped dna dna i've got the yeah. uh, what's it, the 32 uh, who, uh, uh, yeah. number one, which, which, which is kind of supposed to be an amalgamation of all of the dipped fragrances yeah and i'm sure a lot of this is in that i get a lot of fig in it this but, and this is olivia Giacobetti, of course who's yeah. done other things like tea for two and zing for artisan yeah and they all have this wonderful hollow court in so, the center. Yeah, so it, it, I love it. It just makes I feel me like smile. This is something which just kind of this little aura which just kind yeah. of coats you and oh, it's really beautiful, it's beautiful really it? elegant stuff. Diptyque is a house. I'm a huge fan of. Yeah, I think they're right at the I top. Mean, I mean, the top of lovely, the league. lovely bottles as well. Yeah, really, really elegant. Well, I'll tell you what. What do we have from you? I'm going to stick with fig. Nice. And, and I'm going to go to one of our. My favourite houses, which we've not uh, talked about uh, very much before, uh, Profuma Roma. This is uh, D'Ambrosia. Uh, I've never which, smelled which this. Is, I'm so I suppose, it's supposed to be Ambrosia, so kind of food of the gods. Not uh, the rice pudding that you get in. Sadly not, no, because that'd be Bad perfect. Guy. Lovely bit of rice pudding. Um, so this is the, the, the bottle, uh, quite simple. Uh, so this is we fig this again. Thing. Some people say this is sweet fig. I don't, I mean, it's sweeter. It's certainly sweeter than sweeter than Velosco, But it's not this kind of figgy pudding. I get sharp fig and I also get pear and yoping. I mean, just, and the, the one thing to say with Profume and Yeah, big dose of pear. They're just, they're outstanding quality. They're just amazing. I mean, they're about, I mean, they're now expensive. They're now about 210 pounds in the UK. Yeah. But it lasts you forever. I'm getting pear and a bit of nutmeg as well there in the opening. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a dryness to the pink. Oh. But it's so like, it's bloody good. such a so great it's quality. It's a really, really great quality of fig. It's the kind of thing that if I want to have, I want to have something slightly summery, slightly fruity, but I want it with some body and some balls and integrity. And, and this, as it is, it's, damn good. it's, it's yeah. in a way, it's quite simple. You get your pear and fig in the opening. Eventually, there's a little bit of almond joins it, and then that almond gently gives way to a bit of sandal, so this kind of creamy richness. But it never becomes that sweet. Never it becomes is very dry. creamy, though, isn't it? I, yeah. I would say that's one thing I noticed straight away. It smooths it out a lot in the base. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Right, so, right, what have you got next? So next, as someone who I, I've said I'm not a huge fan of just the sort of citrusy, light, aquatic-y things, although I like them, I've got something which transports me to a place in the summer. And the place this transports me to is the desert. But specifically a desert on a motorbike with burning oil and melting hot plastic. Dan might already have a clue what this is. Uh, I wondered if you were going to... Yeah. Yeah. Lone Star Memories by Andy Tower. I was thinking of Laird de Desert Marocaine, which is another great one for those summer evenings. Yeah, I nearly, yeah. But for me, this is like, this is sunset on a summer evening yeah. in the desert. Great choice. And he signs the boxes there, which is so, so wonderful of him. So this thing is all about rubber, leather, I mean, it's interesting. Electrical, solar. When, when we think of summer in fragrances, weird. we think light, bright, playful. Yeah. And you've gone for something incredibly dark. The opposite. <laughs> I mean, look, can I just But imagine that thing on a boiling, sweltering day. 
it sort of it complements oh, it. It's so. It's a I, difficult one yeah, to put yeah. off in the summer. But, but I think I, in the summer, especially somewhere like this, actually the sun is now coming out. At the end of the day, as the sun oh. is going down and it's still warm, and you may be sitting here with a beer. Beautiful. You just want something with a real bit of interest and a bit of body. But imagine sitting on so a sitting on a, on a sort of saddle leather in the desert. Yeah, yeah. And it's slightly melting. Yeah, that is leather which has just been in the sun all yeah. day, isn't it? Slight sweetness. Yeah. I love Tao. I mean, I think he's a master. I mean, she must be so lovely. And this this is up there for me. Yeah. Of I wouldn't yeah. wear it on the central line in rush hour. No, it's not a good idea. But give it a try. Yeah. Give it a whirl. Beautiful. Right. What do you have? What have I got next? Okay. So something as well as citrus one of which i'm not a huge fan of something which works well for summer i think is salt, salt. and there, there are a couple of fragrances i could have gone for um i've gone for maybe a slightly surprising one i've gone for so ah. de Vetiver from a uh, different company so jean-claude elena uh, no no it's his daughter ah uh, well, I, can't remember, I can't remember her first name, but it's, anyway, it's, it's his daughter. Um, and the, this is absolutely beautiful. I mean, obviously there's a lot of salt, and, but the vetiver here is really green. It's not the, it's not the dry vetiver you get. Incredibly good quality. Really. Oh, Should we give it a square? It's, oh, it's really, really, really See beautiful. I mean, it, and this is just completely unique. This is something, you've got the, the freshness of salt. There's also geranium in here, which again has yeah. got, a, got a lot of freshness. But then you have this really green vetiver, and there's also some iris in there as well, which, I mean, saw that, that's absolutely beautiful. Completely original. Yeah, it's incredibly, stunning. incredibly interesting, but it's never cloying. It's got depth and roundness while still being something, mm. even if it's really, really, really hot. It's got this wonderful old school herbaceousness as well, which you don't yeah, yeah. see anymore. But it's, you don't smell anymore. I, I know what you mean. It is. I love that. One hand, it's got the, it's got a very, very classic um, old school feel, but it also feels incredibly modern to me. Yeah. As I said, really original. I don't know. I can't think of another fragrance which smells like this. Mm. I would wear that in a heartbeat. Yeah. And again, another wonderful company. You know, they've they put out some absolute gems, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. Wonderful Osmanthus fragrance comes to mind. Yeah. Um, there's an oud. There's a wonderful oud of them. I yeah. can't remember oud. I'm not sure other good fragrances. Yeah. I can't remember at the moment. But I mean, try them out. Yeah. They're really wonderful. And how much is this? I can't try to think. It's about is it? I don't know. It's about uh, seventy quid around. About yeah, that. something. It's something at a very reasonable point. sort of. Point. I know you can get them in Chauvoy in London. Also yeah. Several places you can get them online, but oh. beautiful, beautiful stuff. Good choice, mate. Yeah. Thanks. I enjoy that. Right. What have you got next? Is it, is it my last one? No, you got two more. Have I? Yeah. Ah, two more. One. Yes. Um, okay. Well, I've put it in this box because the actual packaging is pretty ghastly. Yeah, I've got to say, there was, as I said at the beginning, there are several decants that I like to wear a lot in the summer. One in particular is one of my favourite summer fragrances, but I don't own a bottle. And I'm hoping you've brought it along. You might not have. It's not this? It is not that, no. So, as much as we like to hate on Creed, Virgin Island water is... I don't know, I think this is probably the quintessential it's totally lying tropical. on a beach. It's the totally tropical taste. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a, another dumb reach really for those really hot days. That's the bottle right there. So this and is, it's an old favourite. Yeah, it's, old, it's, it's an old favourite. It's favorite. citrus and coconut and rum. Yeah. It's just a totally... It's just sort of pina colada in yeah, a bottle. Yeah, it's, it's like oh, you one of the old sprays. Let's give it well. a spritz. It's, um, yeah, this is a vintage bottle, yeah, but minus the blue cap. Yeah, lovely. But it's an easy, boozy sort of thing. It is. He just transports trans trans you straight away to that tropical island. Rum, coconut, citrus. It is beautiful. It's nicely blended, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. There's, there are other things out. There's something else which is even better than this, I think, that's recently out. But this sort of went there back in the yeah, day. Yeah, this is the first one to do it, yeah. And I think Creed now are slightly falling off a cliff, but... These old classics, this is from 2007, I think. Yeah, they do a lot of fragrances. They were do good work things. well, but work yeah. really, really well in the summer. It's just easy and clean. It smells a bit like suntan lotion. Yeah, really, really but good suntan like lotion there. Yeah. Right. Don't pay for the retail price, by the way. Um, you can get good discounts. Right, I've got to reach into the of my bag. And so my last what fragrance. What do have? Uh, this is actually a fragrance that I mentioned in my spring video. 
but I'm, I'm not going to apologise that because it is the one fragrance above all that I love wearing in the summer. And I, as we as we keep saying, normally I love resinous, incensey, woody fragrances. Yeah. And so when it gets to summer, I'm thinking, oh, I get disappointed. There aren't so many fragrances I look forward to wearing. I can't wait for winter again. This is the one that, as soon as it starts to get warm, I really yeah. think I want to wear this because it's really, really special. Uh -huh. It's from the the house of Haeckel's, which are a British company based in Margate, uh, and this is uh, on here, I don't know if you can read it, there are some coordinates, but it's just been rebranded, so it's much easier to remember, this is Pegwell Bay. Which Pegwell is a, Bay. Yeah, which is a, a location in, in Margate, um, and it's just the most incredible, herbaceous, there's, uh, the, the keynote is fennel, so there are some coordinates on here which refer to this location, Pegwell Bay, and it's supposed to be a sort of olfactory snapshot of this location. So there, there are these salt marshes with lots of wild fennel growing. So you get this, this feeling of seaweed, of aniseedy fennel, and there's also some kind of, there are some rosemary and some deeper herbal notes to it. Oh, wow, that's so beautiful. But it's so beautiful. The other... I have to buy a bottle of this immediately. The, I really do. I keep the problem to. with a lot of summery fragrances, they just don't last a while. And so I really wanted a freshie, which lasted. This lasts 12 hours oh. easily. I, I never say this and very often, now. but go and buy this because yeah. it's, it's stunning. This does cost, it's I will stunning. say, this is £160. Um, you can get it in Selfridges now and uh, a few other places in London. But you also, uh, Haeckel's have just redone their website and you can buy lots of samples from them. Um, and I think Haeckel's now do 10 mil bottles as well. well so that's that, good. That's certainly, you know, if you want to have something which will last you for the summer, that's a really great choice. But I've got no hesitation in banging on about it because... The value is great really though. I think I've smelled things at twice the price that don't come close to that. Yeah, you're also you know. paying for, you know, it's a small artisanal company. There's yeah, support them. Big overhead, small company, so... They deserve the support. I love this. I and in fact, we should this. link them down here so you can oh, see yes, where the shop is in Margate. These. Yes. Yeah. Know, where is Margate? Yeah, it's Kent. Kent, so that's that way. Uh, uh, where are we? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's by the sea. It's down there. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful. Mm. Really beautiful. Uh, so, is it me now? It is you, yeah. We, so, we have one more. You have one more. <laughs> it's under here in its original bag. So, is this the one that I wanted to bring? Let me see. He's still, he's still. We have the outer case in. Yes. Excellent. So we, it, we're of one mind, aren't we? Yeah. This is alongside the Hakels. This is one of my very favourite. This, I mean, this is a beauty. Oh. Nope. We're building up. We're not going to show you. It's what upside it is. down. So yeah. yeah, it's. This is the box. Actually, no. This is the box, which gives you a bit more weight. So geranium, almost sure. By the wonderful Dominic Rapier and. In fact, there he is on the back. A little biography. One of the perfume houses that credit their perfumers, um, which I love. I think it's very important. And it comes in this little slidey case. Here she is. So I'll give this to Dan for his inspection. This I thing really, really is all about. I keep geranium. meaning to buy this, but it is quite expensive, and I just I haven't got quite onto it. But I mean, so beautiful, so simple. In it's a way. yeah, it's just all about the geranium peppermint. I think often the real white mask pieces are not that complicated. No, it's no, just something simple, original. But you just get this geranium and this mintiness, and it's just. Mm. But there's also this great. I guess geranium is a flower, but there's this great floral aspect. Yeah. It, which is really complex, and I love like and when I smell it on you, it just smells elegant and round and yeah. full whilst being fresh. I mean, it's it has an associate. Please, it has an association to some people with the sort of minty gum and that kind of thing. To yeah. me, it's not that. It's it's a very fresh, herbaceous mint that then dries down into it. white musk and sandalwood. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a hundred. It's so beautiful. Bottle. I mean, it's just. I mean, the, the, this small one is about one twenty. Yeah. So I mean, it's not crazy, but I keep buying. It last you well. I keep buying Temple decants, but especially if you if it's a really hot day and you're going to like a. I really love wearing it like a a wedding. You know, yeah. for a really hot day when you still want to be formal, you want to be impressive somehow, but you want to stay really fresh and clean yeah. today. This is it. That's. I it's perfect. Love it. And a wonderful house. You know, they've come up with some things we've already discussed, like Portraits of a Lady in our Rose video. Yeah. Musk Ravager, you know, incredible gems like Vetiver Extraordinaire. Yeah. If you're very brave and you have £800 to spare, the night, yeah. which is sort of oud and poo. Yeah. Um, Beautiful. But yeah, I love this bad boy. Yeah. So, and I think for the summer. Yeah. So I think it's, we it's may have given it away a bit, but if you had to choose one of mine. I think, I think 
Like, for the Haeckels, to be honest. Yeah. I really want to buy the Haeckels. I love it so much. Well, I was going to say, if I'm going to choose one of yours, as I keep saying, Here they are. I keep buying 10 mil decants, but I should just bite the bullet and get this lovely little Should we just bottle. swap? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, there's so much to explore. This is a snapshot of, I mean, I've left some things at home, you know, Creed, Millicent, yeah. Imperial, yeah. Aqua de Palma, Essenza. The other like one that. I thought you might bring was the uh, Healy. Oh, Salmaran was another yeah, option. That was another salty one. Well, it was a toss up between Salmaran and Mont Fresh. Yeah. And then I decided to go like for the, this, and yeah. then I forgot to bring Salmaran. But actually, I'm, got, I'm going slightly off the lemon salty thing. And really? I'm looking for something like like the fennel in there. Yeah. Or the mintiness of this. Something yeah. a little bit different. So anyway, explore. Explore. The sun is now finally starting Yay! to come So we're going to finish our beer and then probably have another concert. Maybe of another one. And then I'm going to do a concert. But, He's but, singing yeah. some Gorilla. If yeah. you're at the festival hall, come and hear it. But anyway. It's very good. Until then. Um, Adieu. Enjoy summer. Enjoy your smells. And happy sniffing. Bye. Bye.